Hello, this is Steve Wilson and the XCraft CRJ Family Video Tutorial Series. In this video, we're going to cover the progress page of the Tecton FMS, along with a little bit of flight plan editing. So let's go ahead and get into the cockpit and see what there is to see. Alrighty, let's pop up the MFD. And it shows us a nice magenta line and the hole we're boring through the sky. Take a look at the FMS already on the progress page and Basically, this is a summary page of where you're at, how you're how you're doing on your flight. Uh, the most accurate information is going to be on the top line. Uh, our next waypoint is waypoint eight, VRDRK. We'll be there at about 19 miles uh, 20 Zulu. Let's see, that's about three minutes from now. This is the Zulu time, by the way, and we expect to have 5973, 5973 pounds of fuel on board at that point in time. After that, we have um, Waypoint IGM, 95 and change away. We'll get there at 32 minutes past the hour, and we will have roughly 5,300 pounds of fuel on board at that point in time. The least precise line that we have in terms of fuel estimates uh, is, of course, our destination, but we still have a rough idea that we're going to have over 4,000 pounds of fuel on board, which is more than enough to divert. Uh, Las Vegas is 186 miles away from where we're at right now, and we'll get there in about 30 minutes at uh, 48 minutes past the hour. Okay, and uh, last but not least, on the bottom line, we have our current airspeed and our uh, distance to the, to the top of descent, where we'll begin our descent into uh, uh, Las Vegas, and we expect that to, to happen at roughly 36 minutes past the hour. Alrighty. Over on Progress 2, we have a means of directly uh, examining any waypoint on the flight. Uh, so, for example, let's go ahead. We're heading into uh, IGM. Let's go ahead and see what's after IGM. That would be waypoint 10. Okay, that would be actually fit, uh, be fixed zates. Uh, we expect to have, a, we'll be using a speed of 0.74. Uh, Mach 0.74, that is, at an altitude of 20,000 feet. We can change this on, on this page if we want to, but I generally prefer to edit uh, from the actual flight plan itself so that I can see things in context. And speaking of the flight plan, here we are. We're on the last uh, line of uh, the first page. Let's go see how close that is. At... Uh, once, once, once we pass DRK, we'll automatically uh, swap over to the next page, but we'll just go ahead and change over now. Next page, IGM, Zates Caddy. So let's go ahead and edit a, let's 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 edit a waypoint. I'm feeling rambunctious. Okay, go ahead, go back into DKE, and we're turning. Oh, this is interesting. Right now, you can see the now that we've passed a turn, you can see the fuel recalculating. Always fun to watch the progress page. Okay. So, what, where were we at? Oh, yes. We were going to go ahead and we were going to edit a waypoint. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's edit uh, Caddy. I'm going to edit Caddy. I'm going I'm to change Caddy's altitude to 19,000 feet. And I update it. And it's done. That's all there is to it. If you want to delete a waypoint, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to go back and change the caddy back to 20,000 feet. So that everything continues to be in sync, because that's our last waypoint before uh, descent. But let's go ahead and uh, edit Zates. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's, in fact, let's go ahead and just plain old delete Zates. Done. Zates is gone. And now, of course, everything is updated on progress. So that's pretty much uh, waypoint editing in a nutshell. You can you can actually go back in and uh, you can if you needed to, for example, you could go into and uh, into Caddy, and you could add a completely different fix, and you could insert it after Caddy. So you can basically add new waypoints into the way into the flight plan if you wish. Um, and then, of course, uh, you've got a lot of flexibility. Uh, in terms of uh, what you would uh, do for the waypoints. Uh, 
in fact, for example, if you wanted to uh, enter a hold, this would be one place uh, that you could do it if you had the lat long locations for it and you knew exactly where you wanted to put it. Um, so let's go ahead and head back into progress. And it just keeps on marching down. Uh, that's really all there is to it uh, at this point. If there's any questions, of course, by all means, uh, head on over to explain.org in the ERJ family forums. We'll be happy to, to uh, respond to any questions you might have. And uh, that's all there is for this one. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And uh, have a great day.